What do you do with change when you're going through life and all of a sudden some of the things that you knew were true are not going to stay the same? As I'm sitting here packing up my painting supplies in my tiny bedroom art studio, I was contemplating what this change means. A move for our family, a move from the place we're calling home right now to another place that we will eventually call home. And it does help a lot that we are moving back to a place we used to live. Familiar faces, familiar plans, familiar spaces as well. But there's a part of you when there is change that is very conflicted, at least for me. As I'm looking over my empty little tiny studio, I'm filled with a lot of sad feelings. Seeing all your possessions wrapped up, getting taken to the place where it's going to be shifted to another space, I start to think about the good things and the bad things about change. Sometimes it feels like everything is being consumed and you're not going to really even know who you are anymore. I know that sounds extreme. And as we are painting today from this beautiful book by Jola, I'm excited to show it to you because I want to talk a bit more about how do you deal with change? But a quick little moment just to celebrate this gorgeous watercolor book. Look at all these reference photos. And these are wonderful 15 minute projects to help you get inspiration, to help you process whatever's going on in your brain, whatever's going on in your life. Today, I wanted to focus on these gorgeous figs because I couldn't take my mind off of them. So as we're prepping our paper, as we've got our painting supplies ready, I do have my light sketch here because I wanted to just give myself a little bit of stability and then I wanted to go over everything with a black pen just to make it more of that stark harsh line so you can just add in the color kind of like a coloring page really simple really easy so this is my version of her gorgeous project in this book highly recommend you check out the link in the description but let's continue on with our discussion as we are getting this ready to paint. So change has many feelings involved. And I want you to think back about a change that you recently went through. How did you deal with it? What stands out as something you were able to think about or do or accomplish that helps you kind of get through that space? Right now I'm just adding in really light pink color here and some purple. And I'm going pretty light. I'm not starting with really dark values, although you could, but just kind of wanting this to be very, I don't know, this word sketchy comes to mind. This one fig here is very wet, so then I can go ahead and add color over the top and it's gonna spread a bit and just be really fun and, and exciting. I love these bright colors. I love the composition here. Painting fruit is just really fun. I really enjoy it. So there's a lot of fruits, there's a lot of other objects in here, some animals, some scenery, and I think you'll just get a kick out of this book. I really appreciate her sharing it with me. So as we're moving forward with life, when change is hitting us, we have to think about how we can overcome what it is. Now, if we resist change, it's going to create some really, really poor consequences, I should say. I don't know if that's the term I'd like to use, but it's going to be really difficult to acquiesce, to start to develop some strategies to deal with our new situation. So here's the thing, this, this concept of cognitive dissonance. Yes, as a therapist, I have to go there. <laughs> I have to talk about the psychological pieces. As we're painting and adding in that first layer of our figs here, kind of looks like Valentine's Day, just a little bit, purples, pinks, reds. I'm starting to think about this cognitive dissonance and this is really the idea that you have a set of beliefs and then there's reality. And when your beliefs disagree with reality, there is tension. So you either have to change your beliefs to ease the tension or you have to change your reality, which is a bit more difficult. So for example, a move, can I change that reality? No, it's inevitable, it's happening. So what can I do to ease the tension? I can think about the exciting things that will happen based on the move, where we're going, 
how that's going to be a fun new adventure. I can also think of it as a terrible thing, having to leave family, having to leave friends, having to leave opportunities and jobs and house. And so I have some choices. And so for me, I am choosing to take care of myself, not only through watercolor, as I'm painting different greens on these leaves and just trying to make them really fun and, and not too serious, I'm going to remind myself of the good things that will happen on this new adventure versus it being a tragedy. The way that you name and label your situation has a huge impact on how you feel about it and then a huge impact on what you do about it. So one tip I have for when you are facing change, big or small, is to embrace what those positive things will be because if you cannot change the situation and you cannot control what's happening, you can at least be in charge and control how you feel and what you think about it. And sometimes those changed stories and changed narratives, oh, that just takes time for that to happen. I'm outlining with a light purple color here the figs that are cut open just to give it a little bit more pizzazz and definition, let it stand out just a bit more. So another thing with change, not only to embrace it and change the narrative, but is to kind of schedule out and plan and research some fun things to look forward to. And that will help change the story in your head as well. What are some things that will be different? Where are some places that you can go out and walk or sightsee or discover museums or restaurants or new friends to meet? There's amazing things that can happen when change happens in your life. It's a place for growth, a place for a renewed sense of energy, and excitement. It's an adventure. So my figs have dried here and I'm adding in my second layer, stippling here a nice dark burgundy color just to create those seeds. And then I'm adding in darker versions of green or teal for the veins, the lines in this, in this beautiful fruit composition. So we're of course adding in the darker details, more saturated paint, gonna add in some lines here and we're just trying to curve them around I'm using really light pressure here and allowing my brush to kind of squiggle around so even skipping some places so it just looks a little bit more artistic and natural and sketchy that's kind of the word I'm thinking of here so you can either resist change or you can embrace it and even with watercolor it's a great practice to try to do that because as we're adding splatter here, you know that watercolor sometimes has a bit of a mind of its own, especially as we're just learning how to control it. We can't always control it just like our life. And so it's a wonderful metaphor for letting go, taking a deep breath, reminding yourself you're gonna be okay. And also reminding yourself that you're gonna find ways to embrace this new space in your life, this new change, whether it's big or small, whether it's mostly happy and a good change or challenging change. Friends, I've so enjoyed painting with you today. Check out my Patreon link below for membership subscription stuff. See you later.